in gate 12 can you tell me which of the following is in api standard which is used is it api 600 which is used for gate valves or api 602 or api 603 what do you think is the answer but before that let us clarify an important point a lot of people have this question that in data sheet why should we mention any of these standards there has to be some reason why we need standards right for example in a data sheet we already mentioned important details like the material which is required the valve size and the valve cv so in this case Case, why do we need standards the reason is because we don't go in depth in the marking system the stem diameter wall thickness required for the valves etc so these details are important and these are not covered in the data sheet so a standard would help to align all the vendors together so we don't miss any important detail Getting to the answer to the question for gate valve the answer is all three of them are the standard for gate valves but isn't it confusing for one type of valve one standard should be sufficient the reason is let's try to compare api 600 with api 603 and see api 600 is a heavy duty valve and the rating can be from 150 to 2500 pound rating and the thickness is even greater than ask me 16.34 which is the standard for flange rating for valves but this would be very costly valve so the industry wanted a low cost alternative in cases where there is low pressure but the application is corrosive so still you need important materials which are corrosion resistant but you require it to be at a low pressure and the thickness can be reduced and it is lesser than api 600 but it is similar to aspb 16.34 in the middle one is api 602 this is a standard which is used for very small size gate valves especially Especially it has a special class 800 which is common in the refineries for using between half inch to two inch valve size. So in order to summarize this let us say that API 600 with the three brothers example is like the hefty brother here. So he is a heavy duty brother with a very huge and hefty body. Then comes API 603 which is almost similar to this brother it is only a bit thinner in size thinner in the sense it is th less thick as compared to api 600 but still the thickness is as much comparable to ask me be 16.34 then you have the little brother in between which is basically api 602 which is usually used for very small sizes between half inch to two inch and especially used for the 800 class rating if you see here gate valves and globe valves almost have similar way of working so in that case don't you think the api 600 standard can also be applied to globe valves and the answer is it was applied for a lot of years but then something changed somebody had made api 623 a standard which is especially for globe valves but why did this standard come into picture and the team spent three years in order to prepare this standard so what were they trying to complete or have research in this particular standard is that they noticed that in globe valves especially it is used for control applications and because it requires a higher thrust to close the thickness of the stem especially the stem has to be higher than that of gate valves and thus api 623 was born which takes care of all these minute details especially for globe valves where they have defined larger stem diameter thicknesses etc and in terms of api 623 the wall thickness other than the stem is almost similar to that of api 600 so you can say this is a very heavy duty application valve which can be used in a lot of refinery applications plus the trim material if you remember api 600 had a very famous trim chart this is similarly compiled for api 623 also with trim 1 trim 2 etc and special materials are included and it is expected that in the coming years the adoption of the standard is going to increase in a manifold fashion one very important mistake that happens in control valve data sheet especially when it's a butterfly valve is the category a and category b understanding engineers assume that category a is the best category and b is an inferior category do you also think the same the answer is api 600 has a very different understanding api 609 states that category a butterfly valves have a rating which is not according to the asme standard if you read the description it clearly says that category a will use the manufacturer's rated cold working pressure and it will only have a concentric disc 
with ratings up to 125 to 150 flange rating so very low pressure class applications in simple words we can summarize that category a can be used in non-critical applications for where there is low pressure drop and only concentric design shall be sufficient category b control valves have ratings which is in compliance with ASME maybe 16.5 and 16.47 standard for flange rating they have offsets available double offset triple offset so they have very high performance and and leakage capacity to reduce and then the corrosive and challenging applications can then be catered by category b valve category a and category b can be defined in terms of applications as per this diagram so category b can cover category a valves plus it can handle other services like corrosive greater pressure drop applications etc however category a cannot cater all services which category b can cater APS 600 and 800 is for ball valves and if you see here it is divided into two important categories which is floating ball valve and tronian ball valve. Let us try to understand both of this type. First let's take a construction. So here if you see in terms of a floating ball valve design, here's your ball which is going to allow the fluid to pass or not and this is on support of just the soft seeds. So basically as the fluid is passing, the ball is going to rotate. In order to keep it in its position, the seat is going to act or these elastomers are going to act to keep it in the right position. As compared to if you see a tronian mounted ball valve, it has the similar design but in order to add stability it will have this trunion here so this trunion is basically going to support the valve such that in high pressure drop applications also the ball remains in its place and this is better as compared to floating ball valve when it comes to high pressure applications however the cost of a trunion mounted ball valve is far superior as compared to a floating ball valve application plug valve the dominant standard has been api 599 and it can be used from half inch to 36 nominal pipe size so this cover almost all the applications of plug valve check valve the predominant standard has been api 594 throughout the industry however api 602 is also used for small size up till 4 inches if you remember api 602 is the valve which catered for gate valve the smaller brother which we had seen so this can also be used for very small applications but generally api 594 is the best option in summary first let's try to summarize the gate valve standards which we just learned so basically these are three brothers for example, the hefty brother is API 600, the thin brother with similar qualities is API 603 and the smaller brother for very small applications is API 602. After that you have the standard for globe valves, a special standard was designed especially for globe valves which is API 623 which especially takes care of the stem thickness, diameters etc. We have API 609, it has category A and category B, category B is far superior, it can handle corrosive applications applications high pressure drop applications but is costly as compared to category a butterfly valve then you have api 608 which was for ball valves it was divided into the floating ball valve design and trudian mounted ball valve design and finally which we saw was for plug valves we had api 599 and for check valves the predominant standard has been api 594 and if you want to learn more then you can visit my website asarshake.com to learn more and there's a free ebook available there which is almost 10,000 plus downloads from engineers from companies like Shell, Exxon, Dow, Technip, Emerson etc. Alternatively you can also check my YouTube channel which is almost 100 videos for you 